Now, there are a few things more frustrating than your goggles fogging up when you swim. I mean, why do we put up with it? Yeah, it'd be like your shoelaces coming undone every few miles on a run. You wouldn't stand for that. So why do we put up with foggy goggles? Yeah, I mean, much like running, you wouldn't run without your running shoes very easily. Swimming, we don't want to swim without our swimming goggles. So can we prevent them from fogging up? Well, the short answer is yes. And today we're going to run you through some hacks on how to prevent them from fogging up. Okay, this is likely the first thing you'll explore anyway, but if you're serious about swimming without your goggles fogging up, you'll want to invest in some anti-fog goggles. Most new goggles these days come with a special anti-fog coating on the inside that will prevent them fogging up while you swim in your laps. So before you invest in a really cheap pair, look for something that is listed as anti-fog technology on its list of features. Well, that leads me nicely on to the ultimate rule, the one that is gonna get so much more life out of your goggles. Do not touch the inside of the lens. Well, the reason for this is that every time that you touch or wipe the inside of the lens, you are destroying that anti-fog layer that already existed. It's incredibly fragile, and the oil on your finger will very easily wipe that off. Now, if you do need to clean them, you can actually just simply dip them down into the water. You don't even necessarily have to take them off your head to do that. If they do need a more thorough clean, I know it sounds a bit crude, but you can just use your tongue, lick the inside of the lens, and then wa wash it off in the water. So what happens if your fancy anti-fog goggles do start fogging up? Is that it? Are they simply ready for the bin and time to buy a new pair? Well, no. You can reapply the anti-fog layer by using one of these specialist sprays. Specialist anti-fog sprays for swimming goggles have been specially formulated so that you can spray them into your goggles and provide clear vision for your entire swim session. You simply spray them into your goggles, give them a quick rinse off, and off you go swimming. It is important to rinse them off though. Anti-fog spray is for goggles, not for eyeballs. Or you could just spit in your goggles. I know it sounds gross, but it does actually work. And it's free. No, all right, no, James, no, 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 no. Just saliva and just a little bit. And the reason for that is saliva is a type of surfactant which helps to break surface tension and prevents fog or water molecules from sticking together. So all you need to do is put a little bit of spit or saliva into your goggles and then wipe it round. Obviously, I would personally choose to do that with my tongue so that I'm not breaking rule number two. And the next one is, Mark, what are you doing? What? What? No, this is for the goggles. Now this is a rather odd one I'll give you, but it comes from the scuba divers and they swear by it. Just put a little bit of toothpaste on the inside of your goggles and spread it around and it apparently stops them fogging up. Now, you don't want to use an abrasive toothpaste and you also don't want to use one that's too minty. And remember, you must rinse this one out before you use them. But apparently it does work. And we're not finished with our odd suggestions either. Step in baby shampoo or no more tears shampoo. Now, baby shampoo is also a surfactant and theoretically should prevent fogging from forming inside your goggles. And it works, or at least so people tell me. Now, all you need to do is apply a thin coat of baby shampoo inside the lens of your goggles, and it should form a thin protection layer that will prevent any moisture or fogging from forming. Now, of course, you can use any shampoo that will work, but the reason we use baby shampoo is it is a more mild form of shampoo and will be less irritating on the eyes should you get it in your eyes. On that note, and as with any of these, apply and then rinse off thoroughly before going for a swim. Or you could just splash your face. What? Yeah, I'm a bit dubious about this one too. But the theory is that the temperature difference between your face and the water meets on the goggles and causes some instant fogging. So if you splash your face, you cool down your, your face before you get in the water and it'll prevent that fogging up. Now obviously, that should dissipate immediately after 50 meters or even less and no longer be effective. So I don't really get how it would work and yeah, like I say, I'm a bit dubious about it, but a lot of people swear by it, so maybe it's worth a try. Well, we hope your swimming future is looking a lot clearer with those tips. Oh, I see what you did there, Mark. Clever. Well, the future might actually be looking clearer because some brands are talking about coating the inside of their lenses with new aerospace technology that may prevent fog forever. And we hope that happens soon because that'll be great. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to GTN for more videos about swimming and everything else triathlon in the future.